In June of 2007, we visited and videotaped a segment called uh, Ghost Town Elkmont Houses in Great Smoky Mountains National Park. The video has been viewed by nearly a quarter of a million people. The video has been commented on over 300 times and has been rated about 400 and uh, nearly 200 people have favored it on YouTube alone. This was one of our first travel videos and it remains one of our personal favorites. The National Park has always celebrated the log structures and pioneer or mountaineer history of the area. But the truth is, there were people there that did not cook over an open hearth and wear a coonskin cap. Hardworking people lived here. They were smart, independent, and caring folk. They built the railroad and lumber operation. And yes, many were wealthy and they built most of the vacation homes and cottages of Elkmont. But the people of the area, which includes the Tennessee Valley and the Knoxvillians, had a common bond. They were mostly Scots-Irish and all proud Appalachian. The deep-wooded mountain culture is special and deserves every bit of the attention it gets with places like Cades Cove and many others. We believe the entire region deserves all of its history told though, not just the part that seems the most interesting at the time the decisions are made. When we returned to Elkmont this summer, we were so surprised. We saw new lumber and construction fencing, new porches and braces for the beautiful stone chimney, roped off areas with construction ladders. They were repairing the houses. Yes, the Park Service is saving some of the houses. We read this on the newly constructed sign near the houses, the Elkmont Emergency Stabilization Project. Great Smoky Mountains National Park Historic Preservation Crew is currently working to halt deterioration of 19 structures in the Elkmont Historic District. Stabilization efforts include roofing, flooring, vegetation pruning, and waterproofing. The work will help preserve the structures until a later date when full restoration will occur. It's funded by a grant through the Park Centennial Initiative, but it's also matched by the Friends of the Smokies and the Great Smoky Mountains Association. So we need to... Vernacular architecture has found its way back to and its place in East Tennessee history. With the reconstruction and stabilization, I know that our families will be able to take their children and their children's children to see the houses and tell the story of the area with visual references. And as equally important, this is a national park and belongs to the citizens of all of the United States. So maybe someday you too can be one of the millions to visit the park and the wonderful little Elkmont community hidden deep in its boundaries. Don't jump. <laughs> That's really slippery stuff.